Oh, uh, what is going on YouTube? Uh, one of the X ray I'm here. Today, as you can see, I am in a group. And uh, the reason for this group ride is a young man unfortunately passed away up this beautiful mountain road. And the purpose of this video is really to show this motorcycle community. Unfortunately, carried into the on another lane and uh, struck a vehicle and, and didn't make it. The person that actually put this particular ride on is the deputy that patrols this road right here. He actually lives up this mountain. Uh, the gentleman was an Air Force active duty member. Uh, so, not only was he someone that I met and ridden with, uh, I kind of felt the responsibility as someone that is also a veteran that is on a bike like this, a sports bike, and understands the dangers that we put on ourselves, not only as riders, but when you jump on a machine like this, uh, kind of how you have to handle it to one, have fun, but also keep yourself safe. All too often, as a lot of you younger guys get on these motorcycles, feel that you, you need to prove something. And the reality is there's nothing to prove on public streets. I know it's great to see in videos. I know I watch them. But the truth is, there's just so many things that can go wrong. And a lot of them are outside of your hands. You can't control someone coming over a line, which isn't what happened. You can't control there being an animal in your way. You can't control a rock being in your way. You can't control any of that. So, guys, I am early 30, 34, so almost mid 30s, I guess. And I've seen a lot of people die, and I've seen good friends pass because of speed. And it, it only takes a split second, it really does. Like in my last video, when you're leaned over hard, you don't have a lot of options. And if your speed is above what that turn is going to allow you to do, you have zero options. So, the ride within your means is always a good idea. However, the understanding place and time is even a bigger one. And I'm not discouraging having fun, not at all. What I am discouraging is proving that you're faster than someone or feeling like you have to do it. And that's really what it is. You think that, oh, I'm just going to ride my own ride, but I like to call it man brain. It turns on, and you have to suddenly prove yourself. And if you're riding in a group that you feel like you have to prove yourself to all the time when you go out, that group just isn't for you. They're, re they, they're going to get you in a world of trouble, whether it's legally or ultimately with your life. So this is like my public service announcement. It's a very short video, but please, ride your own ride. Do not try to prove yourself. There's absolutely nothing in this world worth losing your life over because you feel that you need to keep up with me or you need to keep up with someone else. That being said, 
if you are someone that's been riding for 12, 15 years like I have, I believe it is our duty to take younger riders like that and really instill this mature mentality of when and where. Really show them that, yeah, there's a great place to rip and then there isn't a great place to rip. There's a great time, there's a great place. And to really take these younger guys, girls under our wings and really mentor them as riders. As a, again, as a service member, it is my people. They're my brothers and sisters and I never want to see them injured because of something outside of the military. You think about what we do in the military, that in itself is dangerous. And if you can make it through that and then you come out here on the streets and you don't come back from the road, and hitting hitting a twisty like this, you know, it it really it really hits home, really hits hard. So please be smart. Understand your motorcycle. I am not one to tell anyone really what bike they should or shouldn't be riding. I'll give my opinion of what they may or may not ride based off of their maturity level, their their presence of mind. But get what you get and get what you want just understand the repercussions of choosing wrong sorry for this somber video but it has to happen it has to, it had to come out because stuff like this happens far too often I've seen it in groups I've ridden with other groups and there's a reason why I don't ride with those groups anymore it's just not how I like to ride so with that, you all have a wonderful Memorial weekend. Be smart, and you all have a good one.